CNN State Department correspondent Zane Vergy. He sat down with our Zane Vergy for CNN. Secretary Zane Vergy joins us live with details. Hey, CNN Zane Vergy is in Kenya with a look at this incredible destruction. It's a historic sit down, and CNN has exclusive access. Our State Department correspondent Zane Vergy is live for us this morning in Tripoli. Zane, put it in context for folks at home. Just how big of a deal is this for Secretary Rice to be sitting down with Gaddafi? John, this is a really big deal. Muammar Gaddafi is a man that was seen really as the Osama bin Laden of the 1980s. Now Secretary of State Rice is going to be shaking hands with him, talking to him in a Bedouin tent, possibly in just a few hours. Muammar Gaddafi, the longtime leader's son, he sat down with our Zane Vergy for an exclusive interview. Zane? Saif al-Islam al-Gaddafi managed to pull off the unthinkable, convince his father, leader Muammar Gaddafi, to give up his weapons of mass destruction. Now, the Americans are our friends. At his home in the capital, Tripoli, he tells me the new rules of the game. Business, not bombs. This one tank alone has $60 million worth of oil. Hi, I'm Zane Vergy, and this is World Report. A winter wonderland turned nightmare. Millions brace for more snow and frigid weather. More towns and villages suffering the same fate as Timbarua. Is that a fire burning there to our right? I want to pick up where we're up on your back. They hit you here, you have cuts here. I laugh somewhere else. Kichwa. At 3 o'clock in the morning, this town's neighbors of a different tribe came in and set this place on fire. We're now landing in Timbarua. As we've come here, we've seen areas that are completely devastated, homes burnt down. Both sides are telling us how much they hate each other and, in many instances, that they want revenge. So we're in Aketi Hapa today. So they, they burned our house yesterday and she's just been sitting here since. There are boulders on the streets. We've weaved our way through all of that, through the burning tires. We've seen a lot of military trucks passing us to try and break up some protesters and crowds that have gathered onto the streets. Barack Obama is Kenya's favorite son, probably more than any other country in the world. If you have one message today for Barack Obama, what would it be? We wish him best of luck to win in the USA so that we can have power also in Africa. Wolf? Zane Vergy uh, doing some outstanding reporting for us in Kenya. If you have ever wanted to walk right at the bottom of the deepest ocean, you can do it here in Oman. Muscat is a beautiful city by the water. We're out on a boat and what better way to see the city than from right here on the high seas. So where exactly are the Taliban? Take a look at this map. It shows uh, the group's presence in Afghanistan. I see women that are struggling with the most fundamental human rights around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a new segment on the program. It's called CNN News with Tood. Now, do you know what Tood means? I think it's short for attitude. That's exactly right. Researchers say the fabled luxury liner may have sunk faster than previously thought. Look, it hit an iceberg and sank. Get over it. Wolf? Wow. Wow, that seems kind of harsh, doesn't it? Get over it. 1,500 people drown. Get over it. I asked Benazir Bhutto if she knows the dangers, why take the risk? I'm taking the risk in facing uh, the dangers in my country because I believe that all the children of Pakistan are as dear to me as my own children. They are directing their anger to President Musharraf, saying that he just did not organize the kind of security that Benazir Bhutto needed. In just over two weeks, Afghan voters will head back to the election booth to choose a president. The worst breach of national security in the history of the United States came under your watch. Absolutely. Did, did you ever consider resigning uh, I believe taking that this, any was, this was. This was. I. I do take responsibility. Taxi. But shouldn't they be talking about Joe the taxi driver? Of course, they should be talking about Joe the taxi driver. But um, it's okay. What? You know. <laughs> how do you tell John McCain or Barack Obama how to get to the White House? Well, 
<laughs> by now, both of them should know how to get to the White House. John Many around the world would say that he stood for divisiveness and destructiveness. Well, I would say that that's absolutely not right. And I don't think they have the, the, either the right view of him or what his responsibilities are and were as President of the United States. Zane Vergy, CNN at the State Department. Those are the headlines. I'm Zane Vergy. Inside the Middle East with Hanagori. CNN, Zane Vergy joins us live with details. CNN, Zane Vergy is in Kenya.